our aircraft and our people actually got here before we had the ordinance um, available to be able to support ATO authorities with a um, standard combat load. So, at the time, the Air Force offered to allow us to use their weapons. When we heard this, there, there were some uh, key differences, but we weren't 100% sure what they all were. reference uh, Air Force publications with United States Navy and United States Marine Corps publications to ensure what bombs were able to be loaded on an F-18. Uh, with finding out what were the limiting factors, we were able to figure out that we just needed to uh, take different fuses as well as bomb bodies and tail kits and Frankenstein them in order to achieve our goal. All the Marines as well as airmen that were part of the, the success of this mission they said it was a, a great honor to be a part of something so big because they know that they're changing the way that the Marine Corps and the Air Force as well as all joint operations are going to be able to work. And then the level of partner nation integration that we were able to accomplish as a part of OAS2 was uh, also very beneficial for the squadron and I think for the 378th and, and AFSEN at large. So we're better trained as a result of it. Uh, we think we have harvested some great lessons learned for the 378th and for AFSEN and should enable future joint squadrons or units in general that attach to AFSEN uh, a little bit of an easier path forward.